Common sayings of lost people number seven. You think you are right and everyone else is wrong. Lost people will say that. Again, you're trying to witness to them, you try to talk to them, whatever, and they'll say, you think you're right and everybody else is wrong, don't you? I can't tell you how many times I've had that said about me in this ministry here. Brian Ellinger thinks that he is right and everybody else is wrong. Let's look at the scriptures. Acts chapter 4, verse 8 through 12. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, how judgmental, <laughs> whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Prophecy, referring to prophecy from the Old Testament. And look at this narrow-minded statement that he says next. This is Peter, you know, the first pope according to the Catholic Church. Uh, they don't follow what he says here. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Wow. You think you're right and everyone else is wrong. Well, when it comes to the gospel, yes, I do. The Bible gives me no leeway at all. The Bible does not say, you know, tell people that they can go to heaven with, you know, uh, Jesus dying on the cross to pay for their sins. He was buried and resurrected. That's one way or, you know, whatever they are into. The Bible doesn't say that. There's only one way to heaven and that is through Jesus Christ. Now you show somebody that's lost that and you say, okay, now what else am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? If I'm to follow this book, it says there's only one way to heaven. Let's continue reading. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, you'll get that one put on you too, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed... In, in, Excuse me, that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Hmm. Verse 20. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. Yeah. Um, what, what's the verse here? Um, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Right there. Oh, you think that you're right and everybody else is wrong? Well, uh, whatever you want to say about me, uh, I'm not going to hearken to you. I'm going to hearken to God. For we cannot but speak the things that we, which things which we have seen and heard. I've seen things. I've heard things. Mostly from this book right here. The supernatural stuff that goes on, you know, whatever else, any kind of, you know, things in physical encounters with the spiritual realm or whatever else. That really doesn't mean anything. It's about the book. And uh, I'm not going to deny the book. So if you want to make the accusation that uh, I think I'm right and everybody else is wrong, well, define that. You say, well, about salvation? Yeah. I am right and everybody else is wrong. The Muslims are wrong. The Catholics are wrong. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, They believe in this, this God that needs to be brought down out of heaven and put into a wafer and in his blood into a, you know, chalice and, and then you drink the the wine and eat the bread and there's jesus you know uh, that isn't it <laughs> um the buddhists are wrong the muslims are wrong hindus are wrong whatever else i'm right they're wrong atheists you're wrong i'm right you're wrong not going to change why because i have a standard <laughs>